Pen. He is kind and funny and a surprisingly accomplished dancer. And, well, I'm sure you've seen him with the small Bridgertons. He will be a wonderful father. <laughs> Surely, though, Colin is a tad young for marriage. You do need someone who will propose soon. But that is why Mr Bridgerton is so perfect. Did you see the way he rescued me tonight? He's not like the other young men who play games and guard their affections. He is eager. Pen. I believe he will propose soon. I shan't have to marry Rutledge. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, am I keeping you awake with all this talk? Yes, I do feel sleep coming over me. But, Pen, the best part is, when we wed, I'll be able to stay in town. And since you and Eloise are so close, we will all practically be sisters. Imagine that. <sighs> It is quite late. A good theory about Lady Whistledown. I thought she had to be a servant, but I was wrong. Quite wrong. Because, well, who truly has the time and means to be that remarkable? Who would actually be invited to all of the parties, able to hear things unnoticed by others? Yeah, perhaps we could discuss it tomorrow. Lady Whistledown is someone free and unencumbered by society. She is a single woman of means. Better yet, she is a widow who would be invited to all of the events, but not paid any attention. So, while you were at the ball... Eloise, I do not care! People have real problems, mature problems, problems that have nothing to do with the secret identity of some silly writer. And you are so mature now. Well, I am of age. I am out in society. Therefore, I have more important, mature things to worry about. Like what? Like marriage. You do not care about marriage. Well, what do I do? I cannot expect you to understand. Not everyone can be a pretty Bridgerton. Eloise, I did not... Eloise, wait! 